Hello and welcome to another Super Harsh and Let's Play. I am going to be playing uh, one of my all-time favorite games called Crusader Kings 2. It's really one of the best strategy games made uh, ever, really. Uh, for those of you that don't know this game, it's pretty much a really in-depth strategy game where you pretty much play through the entire Middle Ages. You can start as either early as 769 or 1377. 1337, excuse me. Uh, for the purpose of this Let's Play, I am going to be starting in 867, which is pretty much the beginning of the Viking Age, as uh, Halfdan Whiteshirt. Now, some of you may know of the legendary Viking King Ragnar Lothbrok. Lothbrok uh, was a cool guy, if he existed, I'm not too sure. Start game. We're going to load in real fast. Oh yeah, forget about all the new game modes. Well, basically, uh, Lothbrok... If he was a real person, killed a bunch of dudes, conquered a bunch of places, did a bunch of things, more or less. And then when he was thrown into a pit of snakes, uh, his sons led a great heathen army to England, the Saxon, Saxony, essentially. Pretty much just wrecking the place and conquering it and living there for a long time. So my goal will be to pretty much convert all of the British Isles to the Viking way and a pagan religion and so first I'm gonna have to conquer all of England all of the British Isles convert them to my culture and, and religion and then from there expand to conquer the rest of uh, I like to do Scandinavia first sort of retake my homeland and then hit, hit up the rest of Europe uh, we'll see how that goes also I'm going to be trying to be playing as truthfully to my character's traits as I can which means that if my character is Lustful, I'm going to be choosing the lustful option when events pop up, even if that's a terrible idea. Uh, I'm going to, if my character is arbitrary, I'm just going to randomly pick things. If my character is ambitious, I'm going to be declaring war a heck of a lot. And if he's craven, you know, I might declare war but and send other people, but, you know, I'm going to try to do as much as I can to avoid stuff. I don't know how often that'll actually work out. Sometimes... You know, for gameplay purposes, I may need to do something, but my character won't. And I guess we'll just have to figure that out as we go. So, going to keep the major epidemics dynamic. Now, I like... Historical's interesting. It appears in the year it's supposed to be and follows the route it actually went. And while I do kind of want to be this more of a realistic let's play, uh, I'm going to keep it dynamic. I think that's a little more interesting when you actually don't expect it. Uh, minor epidemics gonna keep that default mongol invasion. I'm pretty far away from where the mongols are gonna invade So I'm not that worried about it Historical yeah, not too worried historical shadow tree. I actually like shattered retreat a lot of people aren't too happy with it And I'm glad you could turn it off, but I do like it uh, Basically makes it so armies can live a little bit longer defensive packs. We're gonna keep defensive packs on I think Can we turn them off? No, we're going to keep them on. A lot of people don't like those either, but I like that it kind of makes you slow down a little bit so you don't blob too quickly. I think it's the wrong way to make people not blob, but it's a way, so I'm going to keep it. Gender equality. Well, I'm a fan, but historical makes it so the conclave status of women laws are not available. And I realize I'm... And Vikings, you know, as far as I know, we're not terrible, so I'm going to keep that default so I can increase the status of women. But that's going to take hundreds of years to tackle. Uh, feel free to flame in the comments about that. Supernatural events. You know, I'm going to keep those on. I, I don't actually know what that does. I'm thinking it's like the immortal trait and maybe even doctors like cutting off your leg to cure your plague and stuff. I don't actually know. Probably voice of Jesus and the voice of Satan uh, events as well. Dynamic de jure shift. Drift. We'll keep that default. De jure assimilation. De default. Default. Default rating historical. Let's see. Yeah, I can read. Restricted adventures, matrilineal marriage, Charlemagne, story events, vassal republics, dynamic range, revolts, attrition, assassination. I'm keeping this mostly default. Seduction. Let's keep that on. AI intrigue. Achievements are enabled, and Iron Man is on. So let's jump in. This is going to go terribly. Playing as the Petty Kingdom of Jorvik. Oh, let's make a save, shall we? Iron Man Jorvik. A 
I'd like to reform my faith, but that's probably a long ways ahead. That's not my goal. It's not my number one goal, but it's just something I'd like to keep in mind. There we go. Welcome to Crusader Kings 2. Uh, so if you're watching this, there's a good chance you've played the game. But basically, it's kind of like, uh, like the guild if you ever played those games not really at all but kind of you pretty much just play as your character if you play Europa Universalis it's like that but instead of playing as the spirit or entity of your nation you're playing as the actual character the, the ruler so you are not your nation it's pretty much the biggest thing here here's a bunch of rules for the kinds of things I can do close okay so Good amount of gold, vassal limit, score, okay. Who the heck am I? Jorvik, I have a lot of soldiers, probably event troops. Are these event troops? Yeah, event squads, okay, toggle looter. You know, going into this, I'm not certain how looting works, because uh, I'm not very good at playing Vikings. So we're gonna have to see how that plays out. King Halfdan Whiteshirt, son of Ragnar Lothbrok. Strong. Ragnar Lothbrok. Executed by King Aya, who's still alive. So he will be punished brutally in my dungeon. That's going to go well for him. Plot to kill? No. Hey, concubine. Okay. No, that's not going to work. King Halfdan. Who am I? Skilled tactician and Viking. Hunter. Ambitious. It's a good sign. Roth cruel and lustful. My heir Siegfried, legitimized bastard. Oh, he's chased. Since he's chased, I need to get him married as soon as possible, so he starts pumping out heirs. Uh, I don't mean to split hairs, but heirs are important. Just strong. Yeah, you can go with a strong wife. No. Yeah, get married. Why not? Uh, Craven no chance you guys are getting married. Oh, he already has a wife, so. Lots of chase. Okay, where am I? Am I already at war with everyone? Oh, I'm already at war with King Aya. What do you know? So, where exactly is King Aya? King Aya is Northumbria. Mercia. That is his Aya's buddy, Burgred. Let's look at my councils. Chancellor, Ragnar. Uh, I don't really need him to be doing anything. I like this. I could probably improve make it have my marshal be a little better you know let's go with my half brother i want him leading troops though that's the thing my steward let's make him my son what's my son's military score Ooh, ouch that's my heir oh gosh i'm screwed uh research economy tech oops do we scheme no so I'm going to scheme. We can scheme, but I, there's no one better to be Spymaster. Cirrus. And no one better to be Cirrus. Interesting. What's the religion of Jorvik? Oh, it is Germanic, and the culture is Norse. Okay, so we got a good starting point. We'll do cultural tech. I don't really care right now about that. Court, court, recruit court physician. No valid candidate. We need a doctor. How much will this cost? Okay, we're gonna recruit a doctor because I feel like, you know, we just we just need a doctor as soon as we can. Ruler unmarried. Oh, I need a, to get married. I should have married that one lady that I married my son to. Oh, she's not too bad. Mm. I want a good wife who's a good stewardess. Weak. Not terrible. Yeah, I'll just go with beta here. Beta fish. Married, unmarried heir, ambition. Become exalted among men. What's my prestige? Yeah, that's a ways off. King of England. Yeah, why not? I'll take that. I want to become king of England. I'll take the hunting uh, thingy because I want that plus two, but plus health is also not bad. Special tie. No set crown focus. Do it. Designated regent, son, cupbearer, and vassals don't really matter right now. Herdsman, what's this? I don't know what herdsman is. 
Yeah, let's get some commanders. Eight, thirteen. Okay. Not a bad start. How many soldiers does King A have? Because I need to wreck him as soon as I can. He's got two thousand. Two thousand soldiers. And burger has got four thousand. So they're screwed. I'm in a pretty good spot right now. Who am I allied with? Oh, Bjorn Ironside, my brother. Bjorn. I'm a big fan of Bjorn Ironside. What exactly is do I want? Okay, invasion of Northumberland. So we're gonna just move north. We're gonna keep this simple. On times four speed. Okay, so levies have been raised to the south as we travel north. Uh, all right, my son's married. Fifteen gold. I'm losing gold, so I'm just gonna take the gold. I'm gonna be married any second now, I believe. Yes, I have been married. Oh, council petitions. Oh, because I moved married my son off, so I need a new steward, right? Choose my other son. What's his military score? Six. Yeah. Designated regent. Where did my son even go? Invite to court. No. Found my calling. Oh, because, yeah, I see what I've done. Married him to a wife who already had land. A messenger brings me word from St. Peter's. One of the Godis. Godis? Residing there is willing to serve as my physician. Okay. A Godi named Scully. Scully. Ooh, he's possessed. By demons. That's good. Stubborn, zealous. Sea scholar. What would my character do? He's cruel. I feel like I'm cruel and wroth. I don't really care. This guy's crazy. Yeah, let's have a crazy guy as our court physician. Okay, what's happening here? It looks like uh, Jarl Ivar. Who's Jarl Ivar? It's not letting me see who Jarl Ivar is, but he's attacking my enemies for me, which is good. Rise of the Shia. What? What is this? Oh, this guy's Indian. Wow, those Vikings just got wrecked. Okay. I should probably attack them before they can group up too big. Lindsay. Yeah, I'll press my claim on Lindsay later. I'm going to assault this uh, castle right here at uh, Durham, I believe. Durham. Because I want to really attack these thousands of troops before they can kind of group up. Lots of... Oh, and we imprisoned Agatha. Uh, tank concubine. Eh, not really. Ransom? No, can't ransom her. Figure that out later. So they're retreating to Tiviot Dale, and I'm traveling to, to Northumbria, which I do want to sack. We're going to try to follow them a little bit. Oh, here my allies have arrived. Looks like these guys are staying in Mercia, so we're going we're gonna to chase them through the forest. Here we go. Oh, I'm a berserker now. I furiously bite down on the edges of my shield in an attempt to devour it. Trembling with anger, I raise my great axe and charge howling into the enemy ranks. And even the cowards attempt to flee at the mere sight of me. But my axe has no mercy to spare for them. Jeez. Well, I'm screwed. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Very soon. Uh, so they're sieging Northumbria itself, which I would li would have liked to have done, but now I'm attacking Jedburg. Oh shoot, yeah, I don't want to siege that place. Or I don't want to assault it, I am sieging it. Wow, Chief Dunchad is at attacking my land. Metros. So, uh, there we go. I'm going to travel south to back down to Jorvec to try to intercept these uh, raiders. Saxon raiders, I should say. What even are they? Now that I... Are they Saxon? Anglo... Yeah, they're Saxon. Okay. Pretty our cry. The third one in a short week. Okay. So this is an interesting one. I'm not sure what to do. Because I am cruel. So I am cruel, 
So does that mean I shouldn't try to become kind? That's a hard one because I'm since I'm also I'm cruel and raw. I think since I also have a hot temper, I'm not gonna try to become kind. So I'm gonna say let's stay cruel. Okay, I've gained the cruel crate. I already had the cruel crate. Cruel crate, cruel trait. And yeah, they were defeated instantly. Let's travel back north to Northumbria. Great thing about England is you can move around so fast. Britain, I should say. I actually don't know the terms for these islands as well as I should. I apologize. Sieging, assaulting. Oh well. Northumbria's in the back. So yeah, I'm assaulting as fast as I can because I'm really worried about running out of money. I have a lot of money. But that monthly balance, it adds up. Enough soldiers I can raise. No. Let's take out these 4,000 enemies. Oh, my brother. Oh, Bjorn Ironside died. A mangled mess? Not sure what that means. Severely injured. In battle, probably. And mangled. Gotta love Reapers, too. Oh, it looks like a bunch of people have joined King Aya. Yeah. Now well, he's gonna lose any day now. Oh, and I captured a bishop. And here, who's an heir to something? Hey, where's that lady I captured earlier? She disappeared. Sorry about that. Heir to the Bishopric of Lindisfarne. That sounds familiar. Bishopric of... Lindisfarne? Lindisfame. Bishopric of Lindisfame. Who's this guy? He's a Yahoo. Eh. Yeah, he's an idiot. Doesn't really matter. Can I, oh, here's an idea. At peace. The month is before March. I really want to capture King A and slaughter him at a block. For killing my father. Okay, well that was a pretty easy war. I probably lost too many soldiers, because I am since I'm using event troops of the Great Heathen Army, they're not going to replenish. But, let's demand peace. Okay, I take all titles belonging to King A. Uh, Gain a ton of prestige, PD, moral authority. Let's do it. Oh, snap. Something horrible has happened up here. So what is he even the king of now? Petty king of Northumbria? Yeah, not anymore, bro. I'm gonna usurp that. 50 gold and 163 prestige. No, 50 prestige and 163 gold. Let's do it. So I have now taken the Jarldom of Northumberland from King Aya. Earl Aya, I should say. Mm -hmm. Now he's just some Earl, low-level Earl. Of Lothan. What an idiot. Tank concubine. No. Plot to kill. How do I kidnap someone? I need to declare war on uh, Lothian here. But I can't right now. Duchy of Lothian can be created. I wouldn't mind being the Duke of Lothian. That'll give me de jure claim against him, so I'd be able to actually vassalize King Aya. Let's create it. Title loss on secession. Agnatic Gravelkind. I am threatening. Okay, court decisions. I should be able to hold a great blot now. Title loss. Why am I going to lose all these titles? Dement's too big. So I need to give away a bunch of titles. Light to court. I give them to my son, but he's decided to be an idiot. Grant landed title. 
How does my secession work? Agnatic gave a kind. Okay, so... Divided amongst the children, with the oldest getting the primary title. Hereditary Danelon. Vassal. I'll give you some land. Temple. Actually, screw it. I'm just going to create new vassals. Instead of giving them out to old vassals, I'll just create new ones. And that takes me, yeah, right where I need to be. Oh, no. Take concubine. How, can I torture him? I feel like I'm cruel. I can try to imprison Ulf. Ah, I can imprison him, but he's already in my prison. Not sure how that works. I'm going to ransom him because I think this is a little bugged. And then gear. Just some no lowborn nobody. Humiliate. Torture. Mutilate. One of these. Mutilate. Okay. I'll just torture him, I guess. Let's see. Now he's stressed. Poor guy. Tortured stressed and kind of deserves it lost a bunch of my soldiers somehow declare war so my great heathen army is not going to come in handy anymore I, need, I should disband them is that the great heathen army yes it is okay I don't even need these troops can I declare war with just the heathen army I can Heir to the Bishopric of Oatmeal. Cartmel. Same thing. Conquest of Chester. I want to declare war on him again, but I have a stupid treaty. I feel like I should be able to just ignore treaties. Uh, and so, uh, you know what? I will. I'm going to just raid. Oh, she's a good spy. I have the perfect job for you. Who's my old spy master? Ten? Yeah, okay. King Aya has formed a defensive pact against me. That's not going to go well. Sympathy for pagans. What do you mean sympathy for pagans? Oh, yeah, it wants me to convert to Catholicism. Nah, banish him. Uh, now that I have lands that are not pagan... Uh, I feel like Vikings don't proselytize, but I'm gonna do it anyway. We're gonna do it. And I'm gonna be looting the Scots, I believe. Is that who this are? Or Pictish, I guess. No, it is the Scots. I don't even pay attention to any of these little minor messages. Found a new kingdom. Chances I do that seem low. Lothian and Lindsay. Declare war. To sure claim on Lindsay. Oh yeah, I should do that. After I raid a bit. I've looted zero gold. That's a good sign. Oh, my mother, Aslug, has died a natural death. Poor Aslug. Son of, or daughter of the... Uh, that one legendary hero guy. What's his name? Dude who killed a bunch of dragons. Go looted zero again. Hmm. I'm not totally sure how looting is supposed to work, but let's head back to Jorvik. So I'm going to declare war on King Bugard of Mercia. Try to conquer Lindsay. How many, so I've declared war. How many soldiers does he have? 3,000. 
I have 6,000. Excuse me. I'm going to raise all my troops anyway, just for overkill. And move them into Lindsay. Oh, my good golly gee. Who is this? That's 10,000 soldiers. Uh, okay. That was terrifying. They were red colored, too. So my truce with truce with King Aya is ending in 60 days, so he's screwed. So yeah, like I said, my goal is to conquer pretty much this whole island and, and Ireland, of course. Convert them all to paganism and uh, or Germanic paganism and my culture. And from there, just do the ordinary Viking raiding nonsense down south. Um, yeah. And just expand from there. I also want to recapture Scandinavia. Bring it back into control of the sons of Ragnar. Make our nomads or no more. Okay, I'm going to salt their holdings the rest of the way. Okay, so I declared war to take Lindsay, and I've now taken it. Uh, so that's just going to generate points for me while I just attack the rest of their stuff. Man, this is like easy mode. It's going to get harder, though, as I lose these special event troops. It definitely gets harder as troops start dying, because they don't replenish. You know, I've got about 6,000 troops that don't replenish, and 6,000 troops that do. And those that don't replenish, like, once they're gone, they're gone, so... And everyone else, they have about five to, you know, four to 6,000 replenishing troops as well. So it'll be interesting to see how that goes. Oh, I have a new uh, son, or daughter, coming. And I'm getting better at combat. Jeez. 30 combat. That's pretty good for someone who's not being talk, spoken to by Jesus. A daughter. Oh, that's not... I was like, wow. My daughter uh, was born really fast. The Vrangingard, Basilus, the great king of the Greeks, is distraught over the poor metal of his countrymen. Knowing well our skill in battle, he has decided to form a bodyguard Consisting solely of Norse warriors. Okay. So he found a bunch of Norse people willing to protect him. What does that say about Christianity? Uh, maybe they f May they find the excitement they yearn for. Okay, we got some new prisoners. Elfrida? Is my character... What is he? Well, he is lustful, so I should probably take these as concubines. Can I ransom them? No. Yeah, that's too bad for them. Um, I hope no one believes. Okay, God, good God, Gifu. Interesting name. I don't even know what their traits are, but two lowborns. Nobody really cares about them. Okay, last one. There we go. Stupid King Burger. Burger King. He's the Burger King, is who he is. Burger King. King of Burgers. And I've taken Lindsay. So who. Ethelwold. Ethelwold. Ethel. My trip troops back into my land. Disband. I had like 6,000 of those uh, heathen army troops before. They're almost gone now. King Aya. What do you got for me, bud? Oh, he's screwed. I'm going to move my troops up here next time. Now, King Aya killed my father. So I am really looking forward to uh, vassalizing him, conquering his land. I cannot wait to mutilate him in my dungeons. That's going to be fun. Mutilate him and then probably imprison him again and then kill him. It's not horrible. It's going to be awesome. His stats are terrible, except for Intrigue. And just that's how he managed to kill my father. Uh, and that is that for this episode. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Go ahead and hit that like button. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. 
Uh, let me know if you'd like to see more. Let me know if you have any ideas for other Let's Plays I can do. Gonna be playing more Stellaris. Gonna be playing more Crusader Kings. Gonna be playing some Titan Quest in the future. Well, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will most definitely be seeing you next time.